All right, so uh, let's catch up. Let's catch up uh, with how is it going with the upskilling and how is it going with the um, job applications? Have we landed different interviews? Like, how has it been? How has it been? And to the very first announcement before we get to share is that uh, we are going to be receiving progress emails like call to action emails and that will be informing us um, like next steps, especially to the people who have not been very, very active and whom we do not know their reasons. So yeah, just they are going to be receiving different communications. Some of them that includes that uh, they might be dropped from the program like completely because uh, this is a commitment to finish uh, the training is a commitment we made when we were starting and now majority of them are not being active. So uh, if you know someone who hasn't been active, you better alert them to re react or to will share um, their current situations with everything. Why aren't they active or what have been, what has, have they been up to during this past months um, of SGS period. But also to the people who have been very active, you are also going to be receiving like progress emails as well, just to let you know uh, of different things, different updates, and also, um, and also different questions that will be there. So we look forward to your replies to any email that you are going to be receiving. And then uh, next is that we have the schedule is already out. So you can check when we have the intensive application period next. Um, and from there, you can plan accordingly to how you will be navigating the both the challenges and both job application in this week. So yeah, I believe that, oh, okay, one more announcement. We have uh, some new people from the previous cohort, they are part of the alumni, but who would like to go through the SGS phase again. They would like to go through the job search application again. So you will be seeing them uh, joining us on Slack. So to the people who have been here for long, for long, uh, we look forward to that you will be supporting them for any kind of questions, or they might ask you, or they might post in the group, or just anything. You know, we look forward to the collaboration and to the connection as well. If you want to ask them like typical reasons why they are back, or if you want just to connect with them and share this SGS first journey with them. So yeah, those are like the announcements I had for now. Uh, then let's go ahead and start share how was uh, last week for you and also you can just share us how, what did you do during the weekend how was your weekend and then you tell us how was the last week and then uh how is the job application and upskilling going for you okay uh where do we get started any volunteer who wants to go first All right, Fenuel said she will, he will be sharing in the chat box. All, all right, uh, let's hear. Anyone else who wants to go first? Ekram, are you ready? Okay, hello everyone. <clears throat> so like, uh, I was a bit away since I was in my hometown uh, for like to finish a uh, last Ramadan, a uh, last days and then to spend the eat so like it was amazing so now i'm back and for last week i have tried to apply a job application it's not that much of uh, a lot but i've tried to apply and uh, yesterday i just applied around uh, 20 applications so uh, so far like i have received an interview and i have got a rejection for that 
and a lot of rejections so so far that was my update and then for this week i'm planning to do according to the schedule like to submit my tpa for today and then to go with the schedule thank you All right, Akram. And regarding the rejection from the interview, what was the interview about? Was it the recruiter first interview or was it a technical interview? What was it? Uh, it was a technical interview. I think like uh, the the I think like I applied almost uh, at the end of the application period. I think like it's due to the quota. Since I, I am confident that I have already solved the technical question. Mm, okay, it's all right. We keep trying, we keep going. And um, of course, when you receive another technical interview, did you share it with the team uh, within your group or someone else just to help you prepare? Not yet, but I will do that. Yeah, in the future, it's better you bring that interview and then we go through it together with the team or anyone else. It helps. It reminds you of the crucial things that you probably aren't paying so much attention to, but that would, uh, but you don't know if the hiring managers will pay so much attention to them. So when you bring it on a group perspective, I'm pretty sure you learn a thing or two, and that increases your higher chances uh, of progressing into the next steps of the hiring process. So let's be sharing the kind of technical interviews we get, or even the very starting interview. It would be great. You just share, and then we give you some encouragement, and of course, any tips that we can share with you. It's so much, it's so much hops, big time. Yeah, a crown. Okay, let's hear from the next person. You can raise your hand if you are ready. All right, uh, Abel will also be sharing in the chat box. So, how about others? Anyone who's ready to share? Okay, Ms. Gano, you can go ahead. Okay, good morning, everyone. So, yeah, on Friday, I was working on uh, yeah, my skills. So, I was basically working on my web skills. So, yeah, last week, my focus was doing, my focus was more on web skills, which is React. And also, I solved two, two of the Discord challenges from, from last week. Yeah, that's what I have done on Friday. And my plan for today is, yeah, I think. It's Monday and you have to update the TPF. So uh, I will plan this week's TPF and also I'll, I, will work, I will work on my stuff. That's my plan for today. Thank you. Okay, great. Uh, you said on Friday you did how many applications? No, not, not applications actually. It was challenge, Discord challenge on Python in this okay. week. Okay, how, by the way, how was the challenge for last week? Technical. Uh, the the Discord challenge? Yes. How was it? Uh, yeah, I think it was good. I mean, I have some experience in Discord solving problems. So, okay. Um, okay. It was. Yeah, easy for me. Okay. Um, okay. All right, Miss Gano, because I saw that Rudolf raised some question, but I think it was in his group channel. So I'll be telling him to reach you out if you managed to figure out for you. 
Are you in the same group with Rodolf? I guess not. Okay, no mm. problem. Okay. Okay, then. All right. Uh, that's amazing. And the progress for Ms. Gano has been very impressive. So keep it up. And of course, uh, for any query, any challenge, we already know how to do it. You post it in your group and then we navigate it together. All right. Let's hear from um, others. I'm looking at Mikias. Mikias, can you hear me? Okay, how about Basile? Uh, yeah. Hi, Pascal. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, so, yeah, last week I did try to apply as many jobs as I can. I think I did a bad job at uh, recording the applications that I did on on Ten Academy's platform, but I did apply to a number of jobs. And then, so Friday, uh, mostly I was, uh, I kept on applying because I didn't hit my target number on Thursday. And yeah, today, hopefully, uh, I will get back to the data structures uh, um, and lead code challenges and maybe, uh, yeah, do a couple of them. So that's the plan. And the update TPF. Thank you. All right, Basileo. But I'm I'm looking at the data and I'm realizing that so far you applied on less than 20 jobs. Is that true? Or do we have wrong data? And if it's true, why and what are we planning to do about it? Yeah, I I would really record uh, the my like every application on on the Ten Academy platform. Uh, I will, yeah, yeah, maybe I'll do, uh, maybe I'll do an hour of just just recording all all my applications on the on the Ten X platform just to make sure that you have the exact numbers. My exact numbers aren't that high, but uh, but there are a lot more than twenty. Like at least I've hit around 60 to 70 applications so far. Okay. Uh, I can see like it's a good number, even 60 is not because we are we were supposed to be hitting 240 by now. 240 by now. So let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Reach out to others, ask them which kind of jobs they applied on, any platforms they went to so that you can increase your numbers. Remember, you do this really for yourself because the higher the, the higher the applications you do, the higher the conversion rates. Really, we all know that that's how numbers work. So yeah, and uh, from there, let's hear from Meron. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Can you hear you? Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, the weekend was good. I have applied uh, above 100 jobs. And today I will work on the challenge, the lead code. Thanks. And how did it go with the challenges that you were supposed to work on last week? Last week, I didn't work that much on the challenge. I, I was working on uh, uh, the other part, uh, example, on Django and uh, Python. Okay. 
please uh, all right and also um yeah please go through it go through it because it's a new challenge one that you haven't worked on before so it's a good uh, exercise for upskilling in this time okay okay prioritize it okay okay and uh, how about your tahe Uh, okay, good morning, guys. Uh, so I was not able to attend most of uh, the stand-ups and uh, I wasn't able to do uh, the challenges last week. But uh, this week I am ready and I will go on with the challenges and uh, the job applications. Okay, um, also looking at the data, we have um, we have that you've done 37 applications only. What happened after here and what are you planning to do to ensure that you increases your numbers this week? Uh, yeah, uh, last week I was not uh, uh, online, I was not available for the whole week. So that was the main reason, but this week I will improve the numbers. Yeah, why were you offline, if you may share? I'm sorry? What happened in order for you to be offline, if you may share? Yeah, uh, I was busy with some family matters. There were uh, some sad and bad things around my family so oh. yeah it was on some things okay that all right uh let, let's put in some more strength because i can see that out of the meetings or sessions you had to attend which were in a total of 29 you only attended 11. so it's not good numbers it's not good numbers and we don't want that you take so much time um into this application phase when you actually have three days with no challenges to focus on your applications. So let's put in more strength and of course, let's be more serious about this. So to the people who shared in the chat box, okay, I will be reading through, but as we do that, let's give time to uh, to the new people from the Ten Academy alumni who will be joining the job search phase again to tell us their names and um, a little bit of anything they want us to know. How, what were, have you been focusing in the past? Like what, what was your track specifically? Was it data engineering, Web3 or, uh, or machine learning? What was it? And also anything else you want us to know? we'd be happy to know. Anyone who wants to go first from the people who just joined us today? How about we hear from Gannett? All right, so you can go ahead, Kenny. Okay, good morning. My background is not good, so there is some voice. Sorry for that. Uh, I am Gennet Shanko from uh, Bat6. Uh, I'm working on job searching still now, and uh, my CV is machine learning engineering. Uh, I think that's all. <laughs> Okay. Hello? Okay, Gennett. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, thanks for sharing. And anything you want to add? 
there is some background noise i didn't catch you well do you mind sharing in the chat box okay 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 all right uh let's hear from neo mukiza hi everyone hi okay. am i audible yes you are you can go ahead okay. my name is neo mukiza tamar um I'm from, i attended uh but six with Gennett, and uh, I also went through job search as you are doing right now. Um, when I was attending uh, the training, I was doing my master's and uh, I couldn't do it well. So yeah, that's why I'm back now, I'm free. Um, I can be able to put a lot of effort uh, in this uh, session. I mean this phase so that I can be able to land a job that I want. Uh, meanwhile, I was working as a data engineer uh, for almost 66 months, but now uh, uh, the job has ended. So my track is data engineer, as you can hear from my previous work. Uh, that's it. Thank you. All right, welcome, Niamh Um Yeah, we are happy to be having I'm you back. Tamar, Tamar. And of course. Okay. okay, all right. Thank you for the correction. Okay, uh, let's hear from um, Amnom. Amon. Amon, can you hear us? Okay, so I'm wondering if you can hear us, but you're not able to speak, please share in the chat box. Uh, all right, so from the people in the chat box, Fenuel, the TPF on Notion hasn't changed, so ensure that you update it. We are on Monday and it's TPF update day. So let's ensure that everyone do that. And those two to make yes, I'm not sure why we go really and be inactive and then uh, come back to be active, it will always be hard for you to catch up as you are supposed to. You know, so let's not do the thing of going so silent and then coming back just because there are no mandatory challenges you have to focus on because, you know, you will get lost. Even though you are trying just to focus on that one specific only interview, I'm telling you that if it doesn't go well and you were only being active into that by you yourself alone, you know, coming back to the very starting point is going to be kind of uh, mentally breaking, like hearing that you have to go back to the very starting phase. You know, so whatever circumstance is making you inactive, please try to fight it and at least be active in stand up and be active on Slack. It's not much things to do, but keeping yourself into the application mode, it, it will help you. It will help you big time. And then uh, I hope everyone who wasn't very active in the past week really take note of that. And also, uh, Kerod said uh, you didn't work on the challenge on Friday. Please let's go back to work on it. It's good upskilling uh, exercise from the people that I had from. It's a new exercise, so it's a new challenge and good challenge to work on and to learn from. And I'm gonna say it, um, he is in data science and he's planning to fill his TPF page today. 
that's amazing i'm on ensure that you do that and then Gennett said uh what kind of challenge is given now and is this similar to the intensive one so we received different challenge to, to help us upskill Gennett, and we receive them on a weekly basis so when you join slack have you joined slack yet because when you join slack you will be able to see when is the next challenge is going to be delivered or is going to be given according to the schedule we have. So yeah, but I can also share the link to the schedule here quickly. Okay. All right, I believe that is it for now. So that's great for everyone who joined today's stand up. Let's go ahead and do the needful according to the schedule we have and also engage within our groups. If you have an opportunity, if you have some good news, or even if you have some bad news, share with us and then we talk about it. It's better when it's talked about, you know, when we share the news. So yeah, and also to the new people, feel free to ask any question on Slack, in the SGS Math channel, or in the Job Hunt channel, or any other related channel that you find open within your board when you join. If you face any problems, reach out to Rodas, or if you face any cohort-specific questions, also reach out to Rodas. So that is it. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day moving forward.